गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन स्टेइंग हेल्दी टेकिंग गुड केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ माई सेल्फ सुप्रीत आई विल बी टेकिंग योर कंप्यूटर्स सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद द क्लास आई वॉन्ट टू गिव यू फ्यू इंस्ट्रक्शंस प्लीज गो थ्रू माई क्लास केयरफुली रिवाइज इट ऑन अ वेरी सेम डे रीड द चैप्टर फ्रॉम योर टेक्स्ट बुक इन केस इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरी एनी डाउट यू कैन मैसेज मी इन गूगल क्लास रूम ओके so we have already done chapter 1 before holidays today we are starting with chapter 2 input and output devices okay so in first chapter we have studied four components of computer okay so what are the four components of computer that we have studied the first one was your input the second one was cpu the third one was output and the fourth one was your storage okay so in this chapter 2 we will be studying functional overview of these devices the first we are going is input unit okay so what is an input unit you all have seen input devices like keyboard and mouse what do you do using input devices you enter data or instructions into a computer so input what does input refers to data and instructions which we feed into a computer so input devices used to enter data and instructions into a computer the input unit converts the incoming data into the form that computer understand that is binary codes okay and then it further supplies the converted data to the processor for processing so using input devices we enter the data input unit converts it into the form that computer understand that are binary codes and then these binary codes are given to processor for processing so some of the input devices that we are going to study in this chapter are keyboard okay mouse okay mouse stylus number 4 we are going to study scanner number 5 ocr that is optical character reader number 6 omr that is optical mark reader or recognition number 7 is your micr that is magnetic ink character reader or recognition the eighth one we are going to study is your bar code reader okay the ninth one is your joystick the tenth one is your microphone and the eleventh one is your light pen beside these we are going to study some voice input devices so what are the five three there are these three voice input devices that is our speech software okay the third one is your digital camera or you can even call it a digi cam and the fourth 14th one is your webcam okay so all these we are going to study an input unit first we are going to study about a keyboard what is a keyboard yes i know you all have seen a keyboard you will say it is a board full of keys on it okay so do you know all these keys on a keyboard are divided into five types all the keys on a keyboard are divided into five types the first type of the key on a keyboard that you see are your typing keys okay so what is what are typing keys all the alphabet keys the letter keys that you see all the backspace key punctuation mark shift key space bar key backspace key tab key all these keys the special symbol keys all these keys comes under 
a typing key. The second kind of a key that we see on a keyboard is your control keys. So what are your control keys? So control keys can be used alone or with combination with some other keys like control, alt, escape. These are your control keys. The third type of the key that you see on a keyboard are your navigation key. Okay, so what are the navigation key? As the name say, to move around. Okay, so the keys that are starts that move, helps you to move the cursor from one place to another. That is page up, page down, home and all these keys, the arrow keys, the home key, all these comes under navigation key. The fourth type of key we are going to study are your function keys. Now these are the special keys. They are present on the top or row of your keyboard. Okay, and they are labeled from F1 to F12. The fifth type of the key and that we are going to study, the last type of the key is your numeric keys. Okay, we even call it a numeric pad. So numeric key, it consists of keys from 0 to 9. It even has arithmetic operators in it, uh, decimal point and it is placed on the right side of your keyboard okay so it will help you to type the numbers quickly okay so the five types of the key on the keyboard are typing keys control key navigation keys function keys and numeric keys fine now we are going to study the another input unit and that input unit is your the second type of input unit is your mouse so you all know it is a handheld device. You all have, many of you have seen mouse. So it is also known as pointing device, input and pointing device. So now on a mouse you see buttons. There is left button, there is right button. So you even do single click and double click. So what is the difference in that? When you say left click. So left click it just selects the item. What does a left key of the mouse do? It just selects the item okay and if I say a right click of a mouse what does it means a right click of a mouse means it displays the list of commands on the screen what does a right click do it displays list of commands on the screen okay and if I say single click okay if you are doing a single click what does it do it just selects the item. The, if I say double click, what is the work of when you double click on something? When you double click, it activates that application. Okay. So in this, there is left click and right click and in left click, there are two operations. That is a single left click and double click. So left click does, what does it do? It just selects an item. But if you double click on that item, it will open that application. Right click, it will display list of commands. So what is a mouse? It is an input and a pointing device. Fine. We will be studying types of mouse. Okay. So now there are three types of mouse. First are your mechanical mouse. They are not used nowadays much, but uh, I think so you all have seen a mouse that has a ball. Okay. So there are two buttons on a mechanical mouse and in this there is a metal or a rubber ball on the lower side that can roll in all the direction. The screen pointers moves according to the movement of the ball. Okay, so which is detected by the mechanical sensors within a mouse. There is a mechanical sensors within a mouse that keep track of movement of the ball. Okay, and as the, that ball moves, the screen pointers moves on a screen. The second type of the mouse is optomechanical mouse. Okay, so what is this optomechanical mouse? Then this mouse, it uses a mechanism similar to the mechanical mouse. Only difference is that it uses optical sensors to detect movement of the ball. Okay, it was using a mechanical sensor. And it used optical sensors. Fine. Now, and there was also a ball. 
in mechanical also there was a ball on the lower side and even in opto mechanical also there is a ball in the lower side the only difference is it uses mechanical sensors and this uses optical sensors the third type of the mouse are your optical mouse okay now these are the mouse that we see nowadays they are very efficient but they are expensive also so in this type of mouse they use laser technology which technology they use they use laser technology to detect the movement of the mouse fine so there are three types of mouse mechanical mouse opto mechanical mouse and your optical mouse now the third input device unit that we are going to study are your stylus okay so it looks like a pen it is a very small instrument and it mostly work on touch screen like your mobile phones it works uh, in computer devices computer screen on tablets we make use of stylus so it is used to make selections on touch screen devices directly to the screen okay and it is used instead of mouse and trackball okay it is also known as pen computing stylus is used for pen computing and it is mostly used for playing games okay stylus now the fourth type of input unit that we are going to study are your scanner it is an input device now look the picture or suppose i have this book and i want to convert this hard copy into a soft copy what does it means when it is in a paper form it is a hard copy and when we have this image on a computer system means it is stored digitally on your computer so to convert this text images into a form that computer understand in the form of digital form so for that we make use of scanner so in computer terminology we say when you want to change hard copy into soft copy we make use of a scanners so it scans text images and objects optically the scanned data is then converted into digital image and displayed on the computer screen now there are also many types of scanners the first type of scanner is your drum scanner the second type is your flag bed scanner the third one is your handheld scanner nowadays you seeing this handheld scanner everywhere for thermal scanning they make use of handheld scanner only so drum scanner what are this drum scanner so drum scanner they are very expensive and very efficient scanner they have it uses a rotating drum glass drum to scan in the drum scanner the light from the object that is to be scanned to split into separate red blue and green beams optically making the image precise this mechanism is called photo multiplier tubes technology okay and this is mostly used by publishing industry to print high quality images in books and magazines so mostly it is used by publishing houses the second one is your flat bed scanner so what is a flat bed scanner it is a very popular desktop scanner okay it looks like a photocopy machine because it has a flip over protect that protects the glass window in a flat bed scanner the object to be scanned is placed face down to the glass window which is then illuminated with the beam light so it uses the technology that it uses is ccd that is charged coupled device technology it use to read entire area optically the flat bed scanner are used in homes schools and medium sized offices fine the next scanner we are going to study are your handheld scanner so as i say handheld the name says everything that it is small manual device which is dragged over the surface of the image to be scanned these scanners are operated by hand it is difficult to operate these scanner as they need a steady hand to scan objects in order to avoid distorted images 
So barcode scanner used in shopping mall is an example. Even the thermal scanner scanning that is done nowadays is an example of handheld scanner. Fine. Next input device that we are going to study today is your OCR. That is optical corrector reader or optical corrector recognition. What is this? Optical corrector reader. It is an input device and it is used to read characters from the printed paper into a computer. The shape of the character is recognized by OCR through a light source in conjunction with photoelectric cells. When a text page is scanned, okay, it is converted into computer readable form. And reproduce in the form that looks similar to the page that has been typed. So the software then places the text into the document that can be edited using any word processor or editor. Fine. Now in the next class we will be studying other input devices like OMR, MICR. So please go through this. I have a class tomorrow. So we will continue other input devices as well. Thank you.